Choice Bits of Bliss. My name is Scylla. What in the old-fashioned, old-timey scrapbook and history do we have in front of us right now? I'll tell you. So if you remember me talking in a few videos back about my friend Jenny, her channel is Curly Q Scrapper, coming up with this idea about our dirty little secrets. And I have been mulling over in my mind which of my dirty little secrets I would talk about first, <laughs> because I have several. And I decided, you know, let's talk about these making memory eyelets. So I have the solid eyelets. I also have, I'm trying to be careful because these things fly apart and spill all over the place. And then I also have these just normal eyelets. And I loved these back in the day. I hate this packaging because they flip out and just spill all over the place. Some of them lock and will hold. Some of them don't. And they just literally fly all over the place. I cannot tell you how many times in the probably, let's say, I, I want to say I bought these like in the early 2000s. I'm going to say 2003, 2004, somewhere in that range. So these are about 20 years old and I loved them and used them. Not all of them. Some of them are fairly empty. I found one a moment ago, like this pink. I used uh, quite a bit of that. Uh, and I have not touched them, I'm going to say in a decade, at least a decade, at least a decade. Because remember, I stopped scrapbooking at the end of 2009, and I didn't pick it back up until the end of 2017. So I know for sure, <laughs> at that point in time, from 2009, it's been over a decade. Yeah, it's been over a decade for sure. Okay, we've got that solved. Anyway, the only time I've touched them is to move them up here. And guess what? They flew apart. And I had to pick up little eyelets. That was lots of fun. Got them in my room up here, started unpacking them. Guess what? Some of them flew apart and spilled all over the place. I had to pick them up again. And I did it happily because I don't want to get rid of these. <laughs> I don't. And I don't know why. I have not used them. So now that we've talked about that and you, um, I have, there's evidence of my, me being neurotic. I am going to put these to the side and show you what I'm going to work on because part of Jenny's, um, focus is for us to use it. Let's get it out and use it. And I'm going to make a decision if I'm going to keep these or not. But for now, let's just move it to the side. So we're going to move all of this up here. And I want to talk about what I'm going to work on. I'm going to use my collection obsession kit I am using beautiful things this month from Bow Bunny, and I was really inspired by how this was laid out on the front of this 6x8 pad. So what I did was I tore out one of each of these papers. I'm going to cut a one inch strip off of each one, and I'm going to use this 12 by 12 what was the name of it? It is called 12 inch beautiful things from the beautiful things line and I'm also going to use this piece of basil and make a frame and then we're just going to kind of do a rainbow and I'm going to select brad uh, these these are not brads these are eyelets I'm going to select eyelets to kind of anchor each one of my kind of rainbow look so now that you know what I'm going to be doing, oh, also, also, I wanted to show you this. I, this is laid out in a similar fashion, and this is kind of how I want to go with my papers. 
So let's let's just see if we can get this to turn out correctly or at all. If it doesn't turn out, you're not going to see this video. So there's that. I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. I have adhered my strips and I've laid out the eyelets that I want to use and I've punched my holes. I wanted to talk about this tool. If you remember, this is the crocodile. It has two different sizes of holes that it can punch. And it also has this gauge on the side that you can slide up to um, keep your depth. So, uh, what is the word I'm wanting to use? Okay, my brain just went blank. Again, I know this doesn't surprise y'all. It's happened so many times when I'm on video. If you're wanting to keep your holes the same, and it also is an eyelet setter. So you can, uh, depending on what type of eyelet you have, you turn this and then pop it in place and set your eyelet. Okay, so the crocodile is a tool that you could buy to set eyelets. You could also use one of those eyelet setters and a hammer. I have that still as well. And I'm going to continue using my crocodile because it's kind of an all-in-one tool and I like that. I wanted to do just a couple of them with you so that you can see it and then I'll finish it off the rest of it off camera because it's not necessary for you to watch me do repeated, you know, just this repetition of the same activity. No one needs that. We've all got things to do. So I'm going to show you a couple and then I'll move on to something else. So I've been sitting here trying to do these eyelets and if you don't use this, you, you definitely lose your practice for sure. And I punched my holes too large on the side for these eyelets, but never fear. <laughs> I'm going to keep using these because it actually looks really cute when I put them in the eyelets, you know, I mash them down and they just fall right out. So I'm going to adhere them, but that looks cute. I like that. So I'm going to persevere. I'm going to make this work. And then I'm going to be right back. This is the solution that I've decided to go with. So I took some of the strips that I didn't use and put them over the holes. And I'm going to use glue dots to <laughs> secure the eyelets to the paper and I'm going to mash every single one of these eyelets and then put them in their places with glue dots. There, I'll be right back. Okay, I've, I've done what I am going to do to this layout. I like the row of eyelets. I don't like that I had to uh, kind of do a work around and didn't because because they're a little bit lopsided because of the glue but it will be okay they're you know they're very well adhered and they're going to be fine they'll stay where they are I focused a lot on my title cluster and then just did a small cluster here because there is so much going on on this layout that's all I'm going to do I'm not going to keep adding because I think more is just more in, in this case. There, because I have the two rows going on the outside perimeters of the layout, it's, it tends to kind of draw your eyes out. So I really wanted the central focus to be right here in the middle. Uh, our, the photos are when we were in Watkins Glen. This cool car was sitting outside of the Ben & Jerry's. Uh, little cafe or whatever they call it, the little store and so I just thought it was very very cool and fun so I wanted to take photos of it we did not get a Ben and Jerry's because we went to eat lunch at another place just down the street we were so full we had talked about getting Ben and Jerry's for dessert and we were so full by the time we came out of the restaurant we were just like no <laughs> we do not need to eat Ben and Jerry's um 
we just decided that was a no-go. I'm very happy with this. I'm happy that I used my eyelets. And here is a weird little thing. So while I was working on this, I quite often will listen to a, a video while I'm working. And I will happen to be listening to a minimalist talk about what clutter does to our minds and what holding on to things that we don't use, what it does to our minds. And I agree with everything she said. I 100% agree. There is science that backs up those statements. So I had started this video saying, I can't get rid of these. I just can't. Uh, I hate how the things operate and I hate that they fly apart and spill all over the place, but I just can't. I don't think I want to get rid of them. I've changed my mind because I haven't touched them in a decade. And honestly, if there was a prod project come up that I wanted to use an eyelet, I could buy a pack of eyelets for less than $5. And I'm not going to sit there and hold this in my space when I'm not using it. I don't really want to use it. I have no desire. But let me tell you what eyelets I will keep. These that have the hole all the way through. I intend to keep these because I can use them. They're basic designs. I can use these in tags. And uh, that's something that I would actually do. So, lessons learned here. Don't punch your hole too big. Uh, it can be fixed. We can put strips over the back and use glue dots to hold the eyelets down. And a lesson for me is to let it go. Let go of the things that I'm not using. I, I had to force myself to use this. I had to sit here and think of an idea of how to use these eyelets. It's not something that I would just run to. So that's kind of where my thought process is. I'm going to get rid of the ones that I like these. I've never used these. Not once. I have never used these. So there's no sense in me just holding on to them. And the ones that I do use, or that I have used, that can be combined into a, a smaller container. And I'm going to get rid of these little little jokers. I don't, I don't like them. But anyway, <clears throat> so that's where we are with our dirty little secrets. I'm happy with the layout. And I'm happy where I've landed. This is layout number one for collection obsession as well. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoy this little collab. Come back and we will chat again soon. Bye-bye.